Yo guys, what's going on? Today, I'm trying out a new series, 100 drops in Hot Play Battle Royale. If you guys wanna see a part two, then I want a thousand likes on this video. It's a little crazy, but I think you guys can do it. Thank you guys for all the recent support. All right, we're about to dive into it. Let's go, game one. All right, game one here. Dropping on the bus. My plan for every game is to go nether because that is my solo strat. I'm trying to figure out some new strategies. So in part two, I'll probably spice it up a little bit, but got the iron here. Could not find that much lava, which kind of sucked, but eventually I did. It was a little bit late. Mine a little bit of gold just because why not? I didn't, I didn't know how much gold I would find later in the game, but this proved useful. Got all the gold I needed, went to the nether. I had a good spawn, but I was late. So it kind of sucked. I got one chest, had to block up from the penguins. I got a gap and a gold chest plate. This was the only thing I got from this entire, look what, look at where that guy spawned. Just the goat spawn. Anyways, running from this hoglin because this guy just deciding that he hates me. Go through the portal because I just realized I, I had no reason to be there because it's entirely looted. Kind of getting some resources. I'm gonna try and go to the enchant table here, try and find some diamonds. See what I can salvage from this game. And I'm not gonna lie, this guy kind of pissed me off. So I tried obby trapping him for a while. This is not a valid strategy. You should not ever do this. I just did not care. <laughs> Bro, help me. This guy's trying to obby trap me. Unfortunately, my water got blocked off. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go up the surface. And I saw this guy in the bastion. So I kind of just followed him around. Okay, building up on this guy. I know I need to kill this guy. So I kind of just like ruined my game to kill this guy. I don't even have a sword. I'm just critting him out with an axe. <laughs> he threw a pearl and I still chased him. Killed him luckily. And honestly, I was pretty stacked. I accidentally made an Ares Blessings, but it was okay. Jumping this guy. This guy was not really good. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna roll with the, with the axe PVP. And I'm messing this guy up. Got a diamond sword. Got a sharp three from the Ares Blessing. And now I'm just cooking this guy. This guy's a god apple. This guy eats like so much loot on me destroying him oh my god sharp three is putting work he eats a g head i'm kind of just like debating whether or not i still go in but i'm still kind of aggressing because i know i can kill him he backs up i get another god lava still kind of committing to the fight he eats another g head he has one more by the way i'm still going and this guy is just getting just destroyed we're still going and still kind of smoking him I kind of backed up to heal because he still ate a G head. I took a crit trade. I'm still losing because he's just half diamond and I see that we're getting clean. So I'm just trying to run as fast as I can. Got away. This guy just built up in a sky base. I'm getting like 4v1. Eventually I, I got lucky and kind of got away and had a, had a little bit of space to breathe. I really wanted to kill the guy with the Midas sword because I really wanted the Midas sword. Eventually I did. I got it. Got a couple gaps and I kind of just snowballed my way through. That guy died and I picked up the gaps. He had no healing. And yeah, this guy just kind of gets destroyed. With the crossbow, the crossbow kill was kind of crazy. Dude, if you guys have an opportunity to carry quick charge three, it's really, really broken. Um, eventually I find this guy with the damage chest plate. He's getting smoked a little. I'm getting flame boat in the back, kind of chase him to death. I didn't get the kill here, which kind of sucked. It is what it is, but this guy with the flame bow is just kind of running in. I don't really know what is going on. He was trapping here, but he messed up his trap. No, he was trapping, but I killed him before he could get to his trap. And this guy just comes out of nowhere full diamond with M sword, but I'm kind of destroying him. He's about to drop here, and I'm getting the good lavas, and he dies in like a second. GG. And yo, this guy was stacked as hell. And my, my honestly, I just used the M sword because I didn't know if the Midas was going to rank up or not. So it's okay. This guy dies. And this guy dies, and then this guy, it's, he's, it's just over. GG, that's game one. All right, game two here, coming off a, a awesome victory. Making the nether portal, had a good rush. I got the bridge bastion. I got all of the gold, and um, unfortunately, when I went to the meal near chest, it was gone, so no meal near. Uh, and I went back through, kind of got prepared to make my enchant table and stuff like that, or went looking for diamonds for an enchant table, and I got them, luckily. You guys can see here, I just kind of killed so many people. Like, you guys will kind of just see. This guy rushes me. He doesn't know who he's messing with. I'm messing him up. Uh, my aim is a little wonky. But I end up killing him here, luckily. 
in a second, but oh my god, don't judge my aim. My aim is just so bad. This was... I also want to mention, all of these games were in a row. Like, I didn't record them in a row, but they were all in a row. So just for you guys to remember that, all of these games were recorded in a row. Just so people don't say, oh my god, he's faking games. No, these were all recorded in a row. They were just recorded at different times because who the heck wants to sit and play 10 games of Hoplite in a row? I just can't do that anymore. But yeah, messing up Nasty over here. Nasty, I know you're watching this video. I'm smoking you, kid. He's dead. It got a lot of nuggets. I'm getting backstabbed again. Like, I'm telling you guys, you guys don't understand. Like, this game was so hectic. Like, it was literally just fight after fight after fight after fight. It was actually just crazy. Um, this guy's sword was really good. We kind of had a really long fight. I don't think I killed him here. No, I didn't. We just had a really, really long fight. But I had so much healing, so I just kind of wanted to back up. Made my light net sword. This is, a, like, a really, really underrated craft. If you guys have the opportunity to make it, always try to make it as, as much as you can. Um, this guy didn't really have any gear. I tried bowing his wolves because wolves just do so much damage on Hoplite. But he ended up having a Midas for some reason. I don't know where this guy got one from. Um, he's kind of doing a little bit of damage to me. My aim is a little bad. I'm sorry about the aim. It, it gets better. Drop him. I now have a Midas sword. And I got a sharp 3 buck from an Ares. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to main the, the, the net sword. This guy comes back. Messes with me. I'm just running because I don't want to waste my G head. And he's just kind of bowing me. I remember this guy was just really, really annoying throughout the game, but eventually he caught he caught these hands. Got a good lob on Fruit Baby over here. Kind of just out crit chaining him. He eats a jihad on me, so I just kind of run because I saw I was getting cleaned, and I didn't really want to get cleaned, as you can see the guy on the top right with the Artemis. Um, it was just really annoying, and I'm just getting lightning bowed. Actually was so unfortunate. I just start bowing back because I, I know I can kill this guy. I don't think he had any more jihads because he had already eaten two on me. I'm kind of just playing the aggressive, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to commit to try and kill this guy because Artemis is really good. Got the really good lava. Um, this guy is, like, meleeing me now. Getting cleaned. Still trying to play it safe because I have so much loot, so I just don't really want to die. And just, you know, makes it better if I just win every game. So, <clears throat> anyways. This guy gets dropped. Um, he had a couple of gaps. This guy with the Artemis is just still bowing me. It was so annoying. I took so much damage. This guy is trying to clean, but I'm like, you know what? Honestly, I could probably drop this guy. I did drop this guy. And I hit the craziest snipe. Call me Katniss Everdeen. Got this guy's Artemis bow. And I'm like, you know what? I think this game is just one. Um, I already blessings a couple things. I'm still unironically full iron, which is kind of crazy. But I don't think anyone in this game is really like stacked diamond armor wise. This guy is just kind of getting smoked. He had diamond pants. Um, he gets dropped here. Getting cleaned again. This guy has a strength pot and he's really laggy, so it's kind of weird to fight him, but he's full iron, so I just kind of three hit him. Um, and at this point, like, yeah, literally no one was geared. This was like a really, really weird game. Um, I think the most someone had was like one piece of diamond armor, so it's kind of weird, but it was a short game. It was an easy game. This guy dies in a second, and um, yeah, it's game two. Alright, on to game three, boys. Same strategy. Go into the nether. And this game, I will tell you guys, it is probably the craziest one yet. Got the Citadel. I got the Citadel. Got the pot room. Honestly, the Citadels are probably my favorite part of this. I used to hate them, but I actually kind of really like them now. It kind of gives like an action pack of this game. Kind of just ended up getting a bunch of loot. Got the pots from it. Made a sharp three. And yo, when I tell you guys I went crazy this game, I went crazy this game. This was a weird fight. I'm not going to lie. It was just kind of water fights. I hate water fights. They're just so weird. It's just hit, swim, hit, swim, hit, swim. But yeah, that guy died. Combo this guy. Honestly, I have so much healing this game. I kind of know I could just kind of aggress. Combo the crap out of this guy. He doesn't really hit me. Made a prop four diamond boots. That's how you know I'm chilling. I was always making Ares blessings after killing people because I had a G head. And uh, yeah, this guy is just getting smoked. Um, I'm getting cleaned. This guy is also just getting smoked. Oh my. Oh my God. This guy is just getting smoked. I'm getting cleaned. Still going in because I have the strength. No one can touch me right now. Like, actually, like, I'm just playing like LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, this guy is getting... This guy is going to die because I have speed. Kill him. I'm getting cleaned again. But this guy's a bunch of dogs. So I'm like, you know what? I got to back up and kind of, like, re reset the fight because I'm just lower. Um, I end up going in. His dogs just did more damage than he did. Kill him here in a second. Ate the G I kind of popped the Geo because I didn't want to risk it, and I didn't know... This guy kind of destroyed me because he was laggy, but, like, it is what it is. I ended up killing him. Um, give it a second. His dogs, bro. 
He ends up dying. I'm getting clean. I'm like, oh my god, I gotta watch out. I still am kind of going in because I have the strength, and this guy didn't really look like that good. He was a little laggy because I was queuing a little late, as you can see. But yeah, he's dead. Made a couple more areas blessings. I get backstabbed while I tabbed out. I actually don't know how I lived this. Um, I ate the G head. I had to, which sucked. But this guy had an eight glow, so this was kind of good. I thought I was just dead here for sure. Like this was kind of an insane clutch. I'm chugging gaps because I'm like, holy crap, I'm gonna die. Like no way. I'm still chugging gaps. I s jump in the water. Kind of swim, get the gap off. I some I actually just don't understand how I live this. I just was chugging gaps. Never tab out when when you're in a game. Lesson learned. This guy with the eggos is still trying to like get on me, boost me away. I got out of that somehow. I don't know how, and um, I end up killing him in a second here. Actually, probably the most like one of the most insane clutches I've ever had. He's just kind of eggos boosting me away, and yeah, that guy had Riptide and eggos, and he didn't kill me. That was insane. Um, luckily this guy was just kind of a free drop because he was full iron, so. This guy comes back in with his Riptide and Aeglos. This guy was just so hard to fight, like, I think you guys can kind of see it. It was just such an annoying combo of the Aeglos and the uh, Riptide. Dies here, GG. Now I have Riptide and Aeglos. This was such a fun combo. I had Fire Spect Aeglos and this, when I tell you guys this was so fun, I literally was soaring around the map with just Riptide 3 and Aeglos. It was just so easy. Just flying on this guy. Riptide, I'm gonna tell you guys now, Riptide is the best thing that I think you can have. It is just so good. It's literally just like flying in hot fight. You, you go 28 blocks with a full Riptide charge. Like if you do it right and it's just so broken. Um, this guy, he put up a good fight, but unfortunately I was just so stacked that he literally couldn't do anything. Kind of felt bad because he was a nice guy, but he had a totem, popped the totem, and I'm just kind of still going in. I just kind of wanted to eat a gap to play it safe, and then I just kind of riptide it back on him. That's what I mean, that is just so, it's just so broken. Um, I kind of threw my egos at him because I'm like, you know what, he's just going to die. Got the riptide off. He's hitting some good cobwebs, gotta give him, gotta give it to him. And he dies. GG. DM. I think you guys can kind of expect what happens. I get mid. Um, I'm jumping these guys. This guy's a totem. I'm kind of just focusing on the pop it. My armor is like really good. I still have those prop four boots. Was getting a little bit crossing down. That guy dies, but it's okay. I mean, I'm the most stacked player in the game, so it makes sense. Um, kind of going aggro on Chorito here because he's, I think, the second most stacked player in the game. So I just kind of wanted to push up, see what I could do. Eventually goes down and this guy didn't really put up much of a fight because he wasn't that geared it was the final fight but yeah this guy is going to die unfortunately and yeah that's game three you guys are going to see it in a second this guy is also just putting up a good fight yeah these guys put up good fights considering like the stuff that they had and yeah that's it 38 kills three wins all right game four here was kind of a crazy game. Went to Nether again. <laughs> you guys are gonna see the Nether strat is kind of a pertinent strat in these, but I'm gonna try and change it up. Uh, I got the housing bash and I got all the gold blocks. I think I was one of the only ones here. I was either the first one here or the only one here. So I got all of the gold. Um, as you can see, the update with the Nether is kind of bad for bastions because you're not gonna get a lot of gold, but I still left with a good amount. Um, went down into the cave. I found the stronghold, which was interesting i didn't get anything that great unfortunately and i didn't really mind anything but i kind of just had so much healing that i could just kind of fight everyone kill this guy i'm getting cleaned i get like the one of the best cobwebs ever this guy is just still kind of getting smoked um Vishal, i hope you're watching this you're my boy fortunately i had to i had to fight you But yeah, made another G head. Still kind of fighting the same guy. He kind of ran away from me, so it was kind of um, like hard to fight. But get this guy in the cobweb. I'm gonna kill him here in a second, and I'm getting cleaned. Uh, I gapped up because I tried saving my G heads, and I was just kind of bowing him to get him low. But 
get a crazy kind of combo here. This guy's spamming cobwebs, hits hits some of them sadly, but it's okay. Get the axe crit, because I'm still like, I don't have a good sword, and I'm just trying to kill this guy quickly. I get him in a cobweb, kill him. I eat the G head because I wanted to pick up the other heads, and luckily I did. Um, I'm just kind of blowing this guy down because he's full arc and he's not that geared. I'm still kind of just like literally smoking him. Um, I was doing really good in, in this game, I remember. I was just PvPing really, really good. Got the, the bow shots off. This was actually kind of weird. This was like a weird sequence of, um, of events. So this guy was trapping. Jump. He ran, jumped, like, kind of in the trap. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to, like... I don't even know what happened. Like, I think he fell in his trap or something. I, I don't know, to be honest with you. Um, it was interesting. I heard another guy. I got jumped. But I'm like, you know what? I can take this trade. I kind of get out of the one by one, so I'm not taking a trade. And I'm just kind of smoking here. Got a gob, whatever. And then this was so this was so funny. <laughs> this was actually so funny. I spleefed him in the trap that this guy built. You're going to see her in a second. I'm kind of trying to... I kind of wanted to do it, so I kind of tried blocking him off. There was a water source there, so I had to kind of block it out. But look at this. <laughs> like, <laughs> and he dies. It was so funny. And I'm getting cleaned again by the... Like, this guy was smoking earlier. I'm just kind of full smoking this guy. Um... I think I was that another guy that I saw. There was another guy. I kill him. I'm like, oh nah, this guy's enchant. So this was kind of like a weird fight. So I, I wanted to reassess. I didn't want to eat the G head unless I had to. So I just kind of started clobowing him. Um, luckily, this guy gave me a little bit of space. I also saw that he has had a short sword, so I just had to get him lower than me so I could take the trade. Got the low ground. Um, this was like a, like I said, this is a really really weird fight. I got an axe crit. I have to eat the G head unfortunately, but it's okay. Um, God, I'm better get another axe crit here. He's blocking up. This guy actually played it pretty well, but I kind of just played it better. Got a good cobweb. Um, he's running for me because he's lower because I ate that G-head. That G-head did come in clutch, so luckily I did save them. Um, he's kind of spamming cobwebs. I'm like, you know what? Honestly, I can just kind of go in because I have the momentum and everything. He places water, but still not enough. Um, and yeah. Got a lot of loot. Like, a lot of loot. Uh, made all my Aries blessings. And I don't even remember how I got. Gold, XP, speed 2 pot. That was pretty good. I don't know where that guy's enchant table went, so I was still just kind of rocking the clean iron sword. I had I don't even know how many kills I had. I had like nine kills, and I was just rocking that much loot. I had so much healing, but I was literally full iron, like unenchanted basically. This guy put up a good fight, but still kind of bowed him down. We got a flame book from my thing, and everyone in this game was just full iron. Like no one in this game was stacked. Like I don't know what was going on in these games, but I was just kind of running around killing people. Eventually, I got an enchant table, made my light net sword um, that I had literally from the start of the game. Um, and this guy just kept, like, running back in and fighting me. I don't really know what he was doing. He wasn't really the best player ever. I was kind of smoking him, but he ran away. This guy is jumping me. I don't know what I'm doing, but had better spacing than him, and eventually I killed him. Um, this guy... Oh, it's Vishal. Hi, Vishal. Um, I remember this fight was really, really close. I almost died. He had Artemis, so this was kind of annoying to fight. Um, I gapped up, kind of played it safe, went for this guy with the chest plate because Vish was just going to run and bow me. Um, this was just kind of weird. I went back for Vishal because I saw that the chest plate guy didn't want to fight me. So I was like, you know what, I can just go in on Vishal. Um, I took a risky fight. Like, this was super risky because he just ate a G head on me, and I thought I was going to die for sure. I had to eat a regular head to kind of get out, and he was just, he was putting on the pressure. I'm not going to lie. Um, this was a really, really good fight. Kind of got getting some bow shots in. Had to because he was just higher hope hooked than me. Um, I was playing with the blocks a little bit. Just tried getting him lower and I ate the gap and I knew it for a fact that I could win the trade because I had a better sword than him. Um, went in here, took a crit trade, got the really good lava and unfortunately Vish had no more healing so I killed him. Good fight Vish. Hope you're watching this my guy. Um, and yeah, no, I had a speed 2 pot and a strength pot because Vish died with one from his Ares blessings and I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to kill this chest guy because he probably is like the most geared. And... Yeah, you guys are gonna see it in a second. This guy was this guy was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. He put up a really good fight. I was kind of getting smoked. I had speed too and flame art, so it was kind of weird. This guy drops. He gets the water. This guy was a little stuffed. He made a diamond helmet for some reason. I don't know why, but the speed two and the strength were proving useful. I was doing a lot of damage. Just wanted to gap up again and play it safe because there's just no reason for me to go in. And you guys are gonna see it in a second that this guy is going to die. Got the water off. I didn't want his loot to burn, and I killed him. This guy was also just a free kill, and then the last guy was a little sacked. He had multiple gears. This was the guy from earlier. Um, I just tried playing it safe, kind of tried running out the G heads. Was doing a good job. Um, 
I still have the strength, which is good. And he had a jihad on me, but I'm still going in. Luckily, my armor was really good, so I kind of just could keep going in. And I had that speed, too. I thought I was going to die here, I'm not going to lie. Because he ate another jihad on me, and I was like, wait, I'm actually going to die. So I got to back up. Um, ate another gap. Was literally just eating eating gaps. So luckily, it was, it was okay. And I'm just kind of bowing him down a little bit because I, I didn't know how much healing he had and I was kind of losing the fight But I just kind of played it smart. I played around with the speed too. I picked up the diamond pants and um, I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go in because 100% this guy's a kill and Got him. GG's. That's game four All right game five. This was an interesting one went nether again I, again I'm sorry if it's a little boring that you guys keep seeing me go nether, but it works so why not do it? Got the Citadel. This was a weird game. I literally watched the guy get destroyed by the Warden. Um, and this guy was just kind of pissing me off. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to be weird. And he died to the Warden. I messed up the obby because I'm a robot and I don't want to talk about it. I thought I obbied him. I was so happy for a second. And yeah, I got instant karma from the cave spider. But, but eventually I did get the obby. Look at me go. I'm clean. And yeah, this guy just had so much diamonds on him, and I got Grimoire. I can't tell you how happy I was when I saw that. So I was just rushing 0-0 with a sharp 3 fire. And I think you guys can just kind of tell what happened. This game was just the freest win ever. Um, I just kind of felt like playing annoying, and I made like four empty buckets and was literally just draining people. As you guys could see, I would hit this guy, and if he went for a water, I would just drain the water. Um, don't do this. It's annoying and it's corny, but I just felt like doing it. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I was just in that mood. Um, I made all my Ares blessings. I didn't really get that good of loot. I made a power three just because, like, why not? Um, okay, okay. This guy was stacked. I think this was a Nick. I don't know who this was, but this looks like a Nick. Like the IGN of a Nick. Kind of left him because he was really geared. And this guy was just full iron, so he was kind of just a free kill. You guys are going to see here in a second. He tried draining me, but he messed it up. He's in a flower. Like, people, it's actually so annoying how you can sit in a flower and you can, like, get, he like, healed or, like, in a tall grass. There it goes. Really annoying. Got cleaned by this guy. This guy also kind of got destroyed. It was Babble Jet. <laughs> Babble jet. This guy also had a fire sword. He kind of cooked me from what I remember, but I just was too strong Like I had too strong of a sword. He drained me by the way I don't know who this guy this guy was like booga in disguise He was kind of cooking me, but my dogs were also kind of messing him up He ate a G head and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna G head concern and he placed his water So I just had him in a cob and he just kind of dropped This guy was bowing me, but you know, I'm like, you know what? I'm bowing you back and I was hitting every shot He was hitting every shot. It was kind of like a good fight. Oh, Sephir Rux I like this guy. This guy ate so many G heads on me. I think if there was a counter, I took his water. It was water number one. If there was a counter for G heads, I think he ate four G heads on me. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how he had four, but he ate four. Um, hit him in the cave here, so it was just kind of a free kill. Um, he blocks up. I missed the cobweb because I'm a noob. I jump in the cobweb because I'm a noob, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to one by one with him. Um, I didn't have an axe, so I just kind of dug to the right of him. I thought he was going to be trapping at first, but I was like, nah, never mind. I'll be fine. Um, I hit him back in the cave. He has no water and he ate another G head and Then here he's just kind of dead. He ate one more G head after this by the way I don't know how he had so many it was a little annoying, but it's okay Just kind of jumping the one by one with him um, And I had a way better sword and better armor, so I just killed him um, This guy was really stacked. I popped a Speed pot on him and I just wanted to try to kill him now uh, He had death strider I think so he was just kind of running around the water. It was kind of a weird fight he drank his pots. I'm kind of jumping him right now. So kind of destroying him. He had way better armor than I did, but I luckily kind of drained him earlier. Like his water was to my right, as you guys can see, but was still kind of destroying him. It was weird with the Death Strider. I thought I was going to die, but like I said, he had no water and here it was just kind of free. I was like, oh my God, this was kind of a crazy clutch because he had strength and speed. I only had speed. Got all the armor, got all the, the pots, and I'm getting jumped by another guy. But luckily, I was just so stacked, it literally didn't matter. I could just kind of jump and take a crit trade with him. And I killed him. Had a bunch of healing now. 10 gaps, speed and strength pots. Um, running at steam over here. This is one of my friends, too. Um, I had the wrong sword in my hop bar, unluckily. And steam is going to die here. He dropped because I just have P2 strength, too. This guy is also just going to die in a second. And the last guy also just kind of died really fast because of how good my loot was. And yeah, 
This was just uh, probably the easiest game of the entire series. I'm not going to lie. It was just so easy. And yeah, that was game five. GG. All right, game number six. This game was a mess. Did mess up my portal the first time, but it's okay. It was a nether fortress, but had no treasure part. Got a bunch of diamonds, made an enchant table, made sharp three. Kind of just went to zero, zero. Didn't get pots, but was just snowballing. And yeah, I was messing this guy up. He kind of was getting smoked. I had just way better loot than him. Was just kind of killing full irons at this point in the game. No one really had anything. So I was just kind of killing people fairly simply. We're just kind of running around and killing people. Dropped this guy. Saw these two were fighting. So I was like, you know what? I have to clean this as fast as I can. And yeah. See this guy with the diamond chest plate. And this guy had a light nether sword. This guy was is a pretty good player. He's not bad. And he's kind of just like someone I see a lot in the games. So this guy was full iron. I kind of just was killing full irons this game because I didn't really know what to do. I didn't have pots or any like advantage over anyone. So I was like, you know what? I just kind of got to kill full irons and rack up my healing. Get cleaned by this chest plate guy. Um, he was not bad. I got him in. I got him in a web, which was super nice. Get cleaned again by this guy with the with the fire sword. I'm like, you know what? I can't fight this guy. Back up and bow him a little bit. Try to reset the fight, and I end up getting the last laugh and killing him. But his sword was so good. It was so good. He ends up kind of getting killed. Jump in this guy with the diamond chest plate, and. Got him. I didn't really get much of this loot because I'm getting cleaned by so many people. Dragon it. This guy, I end up having a good fight with him later on. I just have a Ned's Fire Sword. I'm like, you know what? I can't fight this guy right now. I have so much loot to craft. Make all my Ares blessings. And I got some pretty good stuff. I see Dragon it in the background. I'm just kind of running. It was kind of unfortunate. I kept trying to turn and like see what I could do, but he was just so geared. And he's not like a bad player at all. So he can kind of just like make sure that he won't drop. He also had G heads, like multiple, which was bad. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna pop this speed pun and see what I can do. This game was just so, so tragic, but I end up kind of still trying to go in because I'm kind of cooking him, but he just had so much healing. Luckily, I kind of got out, made some of my gaps, and he kind of realized, Dragonite kind of realized that the fight wasn't worth it because he was just going to drain himself. This guy is just getting kind of smoked, and he had an Artemis bow, which was kind of annoying, but it's okay. Got the Flame Art, or Power 4 Art, I don't remember what it was. And chasing this guy, I kind of did the Empty Bucket strat. I wanted to do it on Dragonite because he's a good player. I also made Agony. If you guys don't know what Agony is, it's basically a weakness pot that also does instant damage. It's really OP, you guys will see later on. Um, and yeah, this guy was not very good. He kind of had the last piece I needed, so I kind of just jumped him. He ends up dying here. I just had a better sword. He only had a short sword, not a net sword, so obviously he's going to die. See another guy over here, kind of bone him down with the Artemis. Um, it was kind of a long fight, a little bit of a drain, but it's okay. It is what it is. Only four step match. I didn't really gain anything. In the DM here, I have a lot of healing. All things considered, I was kind of surprised I was in this position. And I'm like, you know what? I just have to rush Dragon it. Because if this guy gets kills, I am probably going to lose. I didn't know how many more G-heads he had. I thought he had one more at least. But I don't remember. And I'm just kind of pushing him. I'm keeping up the fire. I kill. I see the chance to kill a Flyron. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do it because this guy's a free kill. I drop him. He didn't really give much. Dragon it also gets a kill. But I'm like, you know what? I have to go clean this. And he was very stacked. When I tell you guys that he was stacked, he was stacked. Um, I was looking for the chance to use Agony at a perfect time to maybe either kill him with it or just give him weakness and He was kind of cooking me here. I couldn't hit any of my hits and the server was lagging which kind of sucked but We're going in he's low. I'm like, you know what wait This is like the perfect time to go in. I don't re like I couldn't remember how much damage Agony did So I kind of threw it randomly you guys are gonna see here I think I got a good hit with it. He tried draining me failed But I'm still kind of playing it safe because I'm like I actually think I can win this game and I got him in the cobweb and I should have thrown the agony there, but I didn't. I don't know why I didn't throw the agony because he was fully in a cobweb. Um, I'm back in a cobweb. This is just kind of like a crit trade. I'm gapping up because he drank an absorption pot or like an instant health pot. So he had just so much health. Get the bow shot off, kind of doing a lot of damage. I'm like, yo, I'm actually doing damage. So I got to just keep going in. And I was going in. He did a lot of damage. I played it safe, gapped up. He also gapped up. And he's on 11. Kind of just destroying him here a little bit. I'm like playing low. He's still trying to play aggro. I threw the agony and I killed him with it. That was actually crazy agony. I was kind of proud of myself on that. Um, this guy just was not geared at all. And there's two other people. So I killed the most stack player in the game, which is Dragon It. I saw these guys fighting. I got the kill. And yeah, the last minute of that game was insane.
All right, game seven, baby. Same strategy, going to the nether, ready to win this game. I was feeling hot, bro. I don't even know how to explain it, except for making this portal. I Okay, look, I don't want to hear you guys judging me on these portals, okay? I am not a good portal maker. I'm not a speedrunner. I don't want to hear it, okay? This game, I got pots. I got good drops from Blazes, luckily. Got out of the nether because there were so many people. And I was like, you know what, man? I got to just make my pots. I did not find any diamonds, which kind of sucked. But you guys are going to see, I literally got the perfect kill in a second here. Um, I was just kind of running around with a axe and this guy, was it this guy with the Aglos or the Midas? No, this guy had the Midas and there was a guy with an Aglos just kind of shooting us and being really, really annoying. I killed this guy with the Midas and I instantly have a Midas sword in pots. This was such a fun mix. <laughs> like it was actually so fun. Um, this guy also with the Aglos, um, was just kind of being annoying, but I ended up killing him too. He shoot, misses the Aglos, he's on cooldown, he boosts himself back, but with the speed, obviously, I caught up to him. I get backstabbed by a guy with a short sword, so he couldn't really do much against me. Kind of got away, killing this guy with the diamond pants, and obviously with a Mita sword and pots, what are you supposed to do? And I have Aglos now where I can just kind of self-boost myself. The only thing that kind of sucks with Aglos is like you can't self-boost if you have something in your offhand, so I had to take the blocks out of my offhand. This guy, just a free kill, he's full iron. Strength pots again was just like really, really easy. And yeah, you guys are gonna see he's gonna die in a second. Got him. And at this point, I have like sharp five in my Aglos. X Aquatic, this guy's a streamer. If you guys know him, check him out. He's pretty cool. Um, unfortunately though, he could not stand a chance against me. I was just too stacked. This guy was just full iron. Again, didn't really swing back that much. Was kind of just cooking him. And I'm like, all right, just better kill this guy. Okay. Jumps in the water. I'm still with the Midas. I have speed, so I'm gonna be faster than him. I catch up to him and I kill him. This guy gets lava. I had a I had a really really good lava, but he had a totem, so I'm like, okay, I kind of gotta play it safe. But I'm just kind of destroying him. He gets me in a good web, but I got out of it luckily. He's still kind of destroying me. Um, he's getting me in really good go good cobwebs, but I kind of just still was going in because I knew I could kill him. I ate my G head because I wanted to play it safe and I didn't want to die. Still really good cobwebs on this guy's part. I gotta give him props. Was going in still. I knew I could kill him, and um, he had a diamond axe. He popped the totem, but I still kind of bled through it made really good pants and i saw this guy on the horse but i knew i could kill his horse i aglos on the horse killed it and then i started dropping him luckily my Midas sword is really strong and i had speed and strength obviously and he died got the diamond boots still wasn't full diamond but i just rushed him in because i had the aglos boosted there got some diamonds got some gaps and was just ready to pvp and kill everyone Aglos boosted into this guy he was flying there's like four people here i just kind of wanted to try and get every kill i'm killing this guy out he died. He dropped with a G head. He had a lot of gold and stuff too. This guy also just died fairly quickly because of just how strong my loot was. He put a good water down. He's just gapping up, but still wasn't enough, unfortunately. I'm just kind of like really stacked at this point. I get that kill. I'm still going in on this guy because I'm just so stacked. He has a diamond chest, but he has like the last piece I need. But I don't think it really mattered because just of how geared, like under geared everyone was compared to me. These two were just fighting. I don't really know what they were doing. That guy just like went AFK or something. He ate a G head, but was still going in. The Midas sword was just too strong. And he's going to die here in a second. Got him. And this last guy is jumping me, but he only had a short sword. And I was full diamond. I was kind of messing with him a little bit. Just ate a gap to play it safe, because why not? Was getting him in the corner. And I think you guys can kind of assume what happened next. Got him with the Agony and GG. And I think I had Sharp 10 on the Midas. So yeah, that's game seven. All right, game eight here. I think you guys already know the strategy. I don't have to tell you. Found a mob spawner. I was really, really hoping for a CD or a music disc. Could not get it. And don't question this portal. Just don't, just don't question it. It was just not a good portal. But I saw the Bastion. I got really, really lucky with the gold spawns. Um, I never, ever get these like level of gold. One piglin decided to jump me. Was not my day unfortunately but yeah didn't really get that much apart from that gold i found two more was it two more or one more i think i found one more gold block had 11 gaps didn't really mind anything bro, but you're yeah, hacking. i was just kind of smoking what? this guy this guy accused me of banned, cheating bro. Birkin. <laughs> this is one of my my friends he's a youtuber if you guys don't know him check him out. He's <laughs> awesome, but i just destroyed him it was really really funny he recognized you guys could hear me because i had my mic muted in all of these recordings but he recognized it was me um eventually i killed him Shift 14. I think this guy is also a YouTuber. So I was just killing YouTuber after YouTuber in this game. Killed him. Kind of went back in on this guy because I had a really good sword. I had like a sharp through or sharp through diamond. And I was higher health.
Got a void staff from one of the kids I killed, and I TP'd on this guy. Killed him. So this guy, let's just say he was not legit. <laughs> like, oh my god, when I tell you guys I was screaming at the top of my lungs, this guy was cheating so freaking hard. Like, this guy was like 2016 LeBron if he was on steroids. This was like crazy. I was like, yo, maybe I can kill him, but this guy was running through my cobwebs just like cheating so hard and i'm not gonna lie to y'all i thought i was gonna die okay like i genuinely thought my life was over and i got a prop 3 book and zoglins just decided that it was fucked loaded today so i got a sponge killing this guy this guy was um not very good at the game so i was just kind of like my goal for this game was just kind of to run to run from the cheater and just kind of rack up as many kills as i could because i just had no expectation to win and i did not think I was going to win, even if, like, you guys will see the outcome, obviously, but it was kind of crazy, like, what happened. Um, luckily, I had a couple friends in this game, so you guys are going to see that they proved useful. I'm, like, kind of yelling at people in chat that, like, this guy is cheating, and eventually, like, two of these people were my friends, and I was, like, literally, like, telling them, like, yo, let's just 3v1 this guy, because he's cheating so freaking hard. And luckily, we didn't get any trouble, and I found out that this guy later got banned, so this it's okay that we did this, guys, okay? Don't ban me, Hoplite. This guy was cheating. So yeah, we um, we killed that guy and then we obviously started to, we had to start fighting. We split the loot a little bit so that we all, you know, we all tried to get some stuff. I picked up a fire book from the guy. I kind of didn't tell them, so that's kind of on me, but you know, it is what it is. I did a lot of damage to that guy, so I think I deserved it. I killed this guy and um, going into the death match, I was super stacked. We kind of wanted to do, I, I I wanted to do like a, a kind of like full iron fight because like, I don't know. It felt kind of wrong like to no like, more? What's up? like any of us to win that game as that guy was just kind of cheating. We kind of teamed on him. But honestly, it was deserved. If you cheat, you deserve to get teamed on. Um, this guy was super stacked and he put up a really, really good fight. Um, I got him in a really good cobweb. He had a G head. I also had a G head. I was still super yeah, stacked. So I was kind of just destroying him. Um, and I was kind of committing to him because he had a lot of stuff. I saw that these guys were fighting. I'm like, you know what? I got to clean this. Um, I made my Artemis bow and was kind of just cooking people with it. Hitting a lot of shots. Saw that Brandon was full iron. This is also a YouTuber. If you guys don't know him, you guys should check him out. He's a goat. Oh, he had Magma it, Club. Um, I kind of wanted it because I think Magma Club is just really, like, really, really good. The fire is just really good. And he was just kind of going in because he knew his game was over. So, shout out Brandon. Really good guy. You guys should go watch him. Um, and yeah, kill him. Bro, back and up. these guys are both full diamond in the border. What are you doing, um, dude? Unfortunately, this guy kind of got focused. Get off of me. And I was just kind of lightning bowing him because he was, like, I got like three lightning strikes, I think. And yeah, it was really, really strong. Was kind of going in, was kind of going crazy. And this guy dies in a second. He has no water. He's chugging gaps. He's trying to, his best to live. I still had a G head, so I was like, you know what? I can probably push in the border. And I saw that this guy was cleaning, yeah, so I kind of wanted this, to back I up. I was kind of scared well. that I was just going to get dropped because I didn't, like, my armor wasn't, like, I was full diamond, but my armor wasn't good. But yeah, these guys were just below. This guy drops with the G head. I pick up the G head. And yeah, this guy just died. GG's. Alright, so these games were stream games because unfortunately the last two games corrupted, but they were both wins, so these games were taken from my stream. Bro, dude, dude, is this game real? And yeah, so this game I got a little bit of the bash, didn't get much, uh, made an enchant table and tried to make my short three diamond because honestly this is the best strat if you guys can't find anything from the nether. Oh, it's this fucking Went up kid. and just kind of started PvPing. I was like really, really stacked. I remember this game. This fight on Ace guy again. Um, I kind of cooked him. Like, fully destroy him. I don't know how he didn't with die there, Midas, but I ended up killing him. Getting cleaned by a guy with Emerald Maybe Sword. Um, he did a lot of damage. I think he had, like, a Sharp 2 Emerald Sword or Sharp 3. But I still had Enchanted Armor, and he didn't. So I just kind of did a lot more damage. Kind of backed up a little bit. Got a little bit of a good combo. And, yeah, this was a really good game. Chad, do I make so, Artemis? That guy dropped a lot of gaps. I get cleaned by this guy again. I'm like, oh, my goodness. Got to watch out. Eat the Golden Apple. This guy had, like, a Sharp 5 Iron, I think, from what I remember. So it was really, really, like, it just did so much damage. This guy's like a sharp five iron. And the wolves weren't helping. The fact that I was just taking so much damage. Um, I'm killing him, doing a lot of damage. And I got the low ground and I killed him. This guy was just really stacked. But I was like, you know what? I think I can fight him. He had a diamond chest plate. So I was still going in. Um, was kind of cooking. Got a lot of damage off. Got a good cobweb and killed him. Had a bunch of gaps, made a better chest plate. These guys were just kind of fighting. I was like, okay, how do I play this? And I ended up jumping the Alley 5 guy, but this guy kind of wanted the, the smoke. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try and bow this guy. I was trying to bow at Alley 5 too because I really wanted his boots. He played it really well. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, 
hit a good lava on me, but I was just kind of trying to play it safe and not die. Got this guy in a cobweb, but he got out, unfortunately, but he was really low. So, he's so low. They're both really, really low. One's on, like, three hearts. One's on, like, five and a half. Got the snipe. Got the boots. Um, and I made... I think I made content of fate there. Really underrated craft. Really, really good. You guys gotta make that as much as you can. This guy is drained cobweb. because he put his water down. Got dead. him in a cobweb, so it was just kind of a free crit out. Um, he put up a good fight. He had the snowballs, which was really, really Man, unlucky. No Those are kind of OP on hot fight if you can get them. It's just kind of like a KB boost. But I was Katniss Everdeen in this game. I don't know how to. I don't know how to explain it to y'all, bro. They they made me Katniss Everdeen in this game. Hit a like a crazy long shot from there, and um, I hit like two crazy oh! long shots. But yeah, Katniss Everdeen taught me to go. This guy was just full iron, didn't really give Yo. much, and these guys okay, just like, kind of started what? fighting. This guy just turned around and started running at me. I don't really know what he was doing. And um, these guys were teething on me a little bit, didn't really do much, and I was just kind of bill in this guy. Again, call me Katniss Everdeen. Yo, can I hit a shot? Just hitting bro? every shot. This guy tried obby trap me. I kind of realized what he was going for. I got scared, yes. and I was like, oh. But I ended up, luckily I was too smart for that, and I kind of dug down on him. Just was so stacked. I was kind of scared for the obby, but I ended up killing him. I went into nether, started mining some quartz, made my aglos, made my good armor. Discord and and the portal was just trapped by some guy. I don't know where this guy like came from exactly, to be honest with you. But he just didn't really have that much stuff, and I just kind of one by one with him. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to hold that beat you and sit in the lava because he's just going to die. This guy was getting smoked a little bit. We had a little bit of a fight. Um... Had the Aegloss boost on him. Kind of killed him. Which is getting good damage. I was just so much more geared than him. So it didn't really matter what he did. Dude, no. And he fucking g -headed. Yeah. Had the Fountain of Fate. Had the Aegloss. Had a lot of stuff. Got the got the mid gaps. And this guy was kind of annoying. But he was he was pretty good. Come here, motherfucker. This flying guy was just kind of a free kill. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try and kill him. And oh I accidentally God, put the Fountain of Fate down. I didn't mean to. But ended up being pretty out. good because it gave me speed too. <laughs> So I just kind of killed this, just ran this Jack, guy are you down, still playing killed him. Or what? This guy put up a pretty good fight from what I remember. He, he, he did no? pretty good. Or like, how does I can't that even lie. Work? But I was just oh, so man. geared that it really didn't matter. Kind of threw the Aegloss at him just for fun. Why not? Um, was just killing him. And how's it been, bro? It's been good. How about you? That's syndicate. Yeah, I was doing a really good. He did good. I I think I just was so geared it didn't really matter. Yo, I had to eat the G head. He was kind of cut here. He was cooking me. I gotta give it to him. He was Yo. he was destroying me a little Yo. bit. But I was going back in. Got him in a good cob up. Took his water, and I Yo, threw the ego at him. Which is still going in though. Luckily, I still had the speed too, so it was kind of fun to kind of just get a combo off on him. Still going in. I still had that G head. He still had that G head. But I ended up killing him with the egos, and that was the game. GG. Last game was going crazy. I was like, I you know what? I gotta make sure I go 10 for 10 for the sorry. first video. Gotta be a banger. So Luckily, spawned in the Citadel was fairly geared. Got a couple diamonds. I got the treasure room. This game was a little crazy. Got the entirety of the treasure room, which was I was super pleased about. Got a bunch of gold, and I went down caving. Found a lot more gold. Got a couple diamonds, and just enchanted a bunch. Made all my loot. And just started fragging out. I had so much healing. I had a really good sword and I had enchants. And I was like, you know what? I just gotta go in and I gotta fight. Oh my fucking god, get sussed. Killing Goodbye, Bayesian triple. Canadian MC here. I'm sorry, Bayesian Canadian. Had to do it to you. Call me Katniss Everdeen again because I'm hitting all them shots. I lied, unfortunately, but it's okay. Man, fuck! This guy just getting smoked a little bit. He didn't. I I offhanded my sword oh, somehow. I don't really know how. But yeah, I got him. He had me in a good cobweb. I got a flame book oh. and was still kind of just killing people. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to kill people. This guy had Artemis, so that flame book is going to prove fine, useful after bro. I hopefully kill him. Rosax. Had to eat the Geod because I was like, you know what? I kind of want to guarantee getting this flame Artemis. Killed him. It got cleaned. Um, and I made that flame Artemis. This guy had a light net sword, so I was a little concerned because I didn't know how good the sword was. But I was kind of just post memming him. Again, call me Katniss Aberdeen. Um, this guy tried cleaning me, but he wasn't really good and he didn't really have that much loot. So he was just kind of a free kill. Got a lightning strike on Calibu here with the netherite sword and was still kind of just going crazy. I had more health, so I was like, you know, I can just kind of go in. Got the kill here, picked up the light net sword, and I didn't get really that much good loot apart from that short four book. That short four book kind of came in really, really handy. And I got like instant four and instant three. Actually, no, I'm lying. I got really good loot. I don't know what I'm saying. I had instant instant health three, instant health four. It was really, really good. And made a diamond chest plate. 
kind of just had sharp four, so it was just kind of taking a like easy trades with literally everyone because no one would have a better sword than me. Oh shit! Drop this guy. This guy just came out of nowhere. Like Thanos just pulled up. Don't know how he was so geared. Was going in, destroying him a little bit though. I had a way better sword than him, I think, because I was just like literally out hitting him. I was just doing like I was out hitting him and I was doing so much damage. Got a really nice like got a like a couple good combos on him, but he ended up comboing me back. Dropped him with like two G or like one or two G heads. Got cleaned by this guy. Luckily he didn't really have that much, so I kind of just held W on him and did really good. Call me Katniss Everdeen again. Another bow shot kill. Like I don't know, bro. Like Another I just one. think I'm Katniss Everdeen in disguise. Like have you guys ever seen Katniss Everdeen and me in the same room? No. So. Bayesian Canadian MC back at it again. He wants to smoke. He wants these hands. Again, just Katniss Everdeen. Like, what do you guys, what do you have to say? This guy bowed him from afar. He didn't really have much, so I just kind of got the free kill. Bowed him again. Um, waited for the Aglos yeah. to, to recharge to kind of boost on him. Get he was trapping. Nice. I don't know where, like, that trap came from. I think he built it last second, but um, he ended up dying. Didn't really go down for the loot, and I had a pearl, so I just pearl to med it, and then I self-boosted it. I got all the loot just to make sure no one else would get it, but I kind of knew this game was on block, so I had a fire sword, netherite sword, and stuff like that. Um, was dropping this guy. He had nothing really good. I just had, like, a way better sword, and he ended up going down. Went for this full iron guy. He was kind of a noob. Oh, no, he ate his jihad. That guy, I just ripped through it. The things you say. Killed him and this last guy just didn't. Yo, have Declan. Anything. And Thank you for the gift of wins. GG. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. I want to thank you guys a lot for watching. If you guys want to see part two, make sure you guys question down below. And yeah, if you guys want to see part two, a thousand likes. Okay, part two, thousand likes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider subscribing. Peace out.